Hello viewers, my name is Farooq Habib. By profession, I am an electrical engineer. This is my first vlog and it is uh, regarding the uh, different types of electrical networks. Uh, the reason of or the objective of starting this channel is to build the concepts of our young electrical engineers uh, who are either uh, recently graduated or have recently uh, joined the field. Uh, I'll be discussing during my vlogs, I'll be discussing the different practical approaches which I, which I have learned uh, during my experience in the field. Uh, we will also be focusing much on the economic considerations because the young engineers, uh, they actually, in my experience, focus too much on the design itself, the strength of the design, and do not consider the economic part, which makes the design too expensive to get adopted. So uh, economic consideration is very important while designing any kind of network. And we'll be discussing the management aspects of the network also. So if you like my uh, my vlog, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe my channel too. Uh, so uh, let's start uh, uh, different types of electrical network. Uh, for this vlog, I have referenced the Merlin General Car Technique number 155. It's a very old and good document. Uh, which which can be referred uh, which can be referred uh, for learning the electrical different types of electrical networks uh, and its management. As we all all know that the power is generated at the power stations here and is consumed at the consumer side, which can either be residential or industrial. So in order to transmit uh, this power to the uh, to the residential sites or the industrial sites, we have a whole transmission network or the whole transmission system. So we discuss each and every aspect one by one. First, the power station. At the power stations, power uh, is normally generated uh, either using the fossil fuels uh, like the diesel generators or the renewable energy like the wind power or the solar power. Uh, the power is generated at the level of, uh, usually at the level of 11 kV to 20 kV. Uh, the reason of using of ch or choosing this uh, voltage level is that because uh, this is an economical voltage level which makes the size of the generating station economical. Because if we increase the voltage level too much, uh, then uh, the size of the generators will become very large and it will not be feasible uh, to, to keep it in a building uh, of, a, of a size of a power station. So mostly the power is generated at 11 kV and 20 kV. Uh, but we cannot transmit the power at this level because if we transmit it at this level due to the due to the long lengths of the transmission line, uh, the losses will be very high because we, we know that the, uh, the, the lesser the voltage, the higher the current. So the large cross section of the cable will also be required uh, to reduce those uh, power losses. So mostly in the practical cases, uh, a grid station is located uh, or a substation is located near to the powerhouse where the power is step up using a step up transformer. Uh, usually the power is step up to a voltage level of 400 kV or 220 kV. Uh, this is the economical voltage level which is used around the world uh, uh, but it can up to 800 kV which is used in some of the countries and can go up to a level of 1000 kV but the level of 1000 kV is used in one or two countries only mostly is up to the level of 220 kV to 400 kV. It is very important to discuss that these levels or the design of the power distribution or tra and the transmission network is not standard across the world. It actually differs in every country. It can be a case that many countries have the same concept of designing their transmission and distribution network. But we cannot say that there is one standard, one alone standard uh, is available in the world which every country follows. So every country, according to their needs, according to their geographical areas, uh, they follow different uh, standards uh, across, uh, they, they use different standards. So mostly the power is transmitted uh, using a level of 220 kV to 400 kV and this kind of network is called the transmission network. Uh, when, the trans when, the, when the power reaches a point where, when, where it is near to the consumer side, we can reduce it to a, from, a, from a level of 400 kV, we can reduce it to a level of 220 kV. Again, we use transformers at the substations where it reduces the power from a level of 400 kV to 220 kV. Then again, it, it is transmitted uh, to much near site of the of the consumers like the industrial consumers uh, which is called the sub transmission network where the power is reduced to a level of either 132 kV or 66 kV this 66 kV or 132 kV can 
be directly transmitted to a bulk consumer like the cement industry or the steel industry or the airports or the chemical plant which have their own substations because they use huge amount of power uh, they reduce the power further at their own uh, sites uh, from this sub transmission network to the residential consumers the power is transmitted to the to the substations which is which are located near to the residential areas where the power is reduced from the level of 132 kv to 11 kv this 11 kv level is actually called the medium voltage net network uh, this medium voltage network is uh, is huge in considerations if you if you can see in the cities you can see huge lines of uh, either underground or overhead of 11 kV network which runs across the streets uh, this 11 kV system when it reaches near to the near to the distribution sites of the of the consumers actually it is again uh, stepped down to a level of 440 volts using the uh, pole mounted transformers this is the level of uh, three phase voltage which we use in our houses uh, but uh, uh, most of the uh, most of the our equipment uh, actually runs on the single phase. Uh, so in single phase, we use the voltage of a level of 240 volts, uh, or either two or 220 volts, or or something like that. Um, uh, 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 in in some of the countries, it can be even lesser than that. Uh, so uh, this is the whole transmission network uh, and the distribution network which we use, uh, uh, which we use to transmit the power from the power generating station to the consumer sites uh, again uh, from from the power station to the transmission network to the sub transmission network and uh, to the medium voltage network to the low voltage network again i would like to emphasize that uh, uh, the choice of the voltage is uh, is is totally a, tech, a techno economic decision uh, uh, which depends on the length of the lines there is no standard which is used uh, across the worldwide uh, so different countries have different standards it uh, from uh, it, it differs from one country it can differ from one country to another but it can also be the same uh, if you have any question uh, related to uh, the uh, electrical network, you can post in the comment box. If you have any other comment, you can also put in, post in the comment uh, box. If you like the video, please uh, uh, hit the like button. Thank you so much. Uh, see you again.